sing with three of my musical heroes this weekend. <laughs> Rob Benedict, Reeve Carney, and the writer of Make and Bacon. <laughs> Follow your dreams, they do come true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good lesson to learn. Can we record that when we get back to LA? Without a doubt. Okay. I smell bonus track. <laughs> thank you, I mean, Internet. I, that's, that's my line now. It's just like, thank you, Internet. I smell supernatural soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a really slow mo. And like climactic scene. Yeah, and totally. Killing or saving. Yeah, exactly. Scene. Like slow motion. Like you sing it. I'll just do a little bit. Making, making, It's like, I will force you, this to be funny. You will laugh at this joke. Just from sheer exhaustion of me keep telling the punchline. So we're like, hey, let's talk about comedy theory. Like, people. Hey. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great, thanks. It's my first comedy. So. Welcome. Hey, welcome. It's my second-ish. Uh, so I have a question for you guys. Uh, what is this? It's day three and we all know each other, sort of. What is your most memorable thing so far? <laughs> At this particular convention? Yes. I mean, I think you just saw it. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of epic. Making bacon. The making bacon song? <laughs> yeah. I, I've had so many memories from this weekend that were completely washed away from what I did last night. Like, just <laughs> something about last night's party dropped memories for me, but not not only last <laughs> night's memories, but memories from other days of the week. That's right. Just also gone. So before you came, <laughs> so before you came out, this is like how vulnerable I am this morning, like in a great way. The, the, the question was asked, if you could be a fly on the wall at any time and place, where would you be? And I didn't pick I didn't question. I didn't pick history. I didn't pick this wonderful like dinosaurs. I could have been like hung with the dinosaurs. I literally said I'd like to witness my own birth. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's weird. It's weird. It's a weird answer. There's an aspect of that that could be considered weird, but I know what you mean. But my yeah, an I get it. Like seriously, like people are like, here's my therapy card. Here's. Do you know what I thought you were gonna say? What? I thought you were gonna say if I could be a fly on the wall uh, last night, because I have no earthly idea what happened, and I'd just love to know. Yeah, the restaurant was amazing. But, I, I mean, honestly, it's like people ask me my favorite, like, role or favorite scene and all this stuff. I always have a problem with favorites. I hate, like, the, I don't hate the favorite question. I understand why people ask it. But it's like, I want it all. Everything's my favorite. You know, I've been, it's been nothing but amazing connections and memories and pink tutus. And, yeah, that happened. You, yeah, yeah that, that, that happened. I approve. Yeah, I, and making bacon with Jason Mann, like, you know what I mean? Like, every moment, I'm trying to be so present for each thing that is happening because I, I just know that I'm, like, filling up on these incredible uh, experiences. So it's like, I, 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 could, I could never pick one. So the whole, the whole weekend is going to be just one amazing memory, and, and that's because of all of you. So thank you, thank you. Way to bring it home. Yeah. And I mean it. That's not, that's not baloney. I said it, baloney. Is baloney a form of bacon? Bacon, baloney. No, it's not as good. 
Mark, that's why he's a genius. He knew. Bacon. Not bologna. Bacon. Hi. 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 How are you? How are you good? Really good. I mean, I'm good. Well, you, yeah, see, you were more adult than us last night. I just had to work. You were tall. <laughs> just that. Yeah. Oh, yes, thank you so much. It's hard to see. There you go. I can see you now. Thank you for that beautiful piece of art. She, uh, can we just give a round of applause just for all the artists that draw? Oh, my goodness. I, I, I used to draw and paint. Well, I still draw and paint, not as much anymore, but when I studied architecture. So to get that gift as well of just all the artists and the creators that are inspired by the show and make their own stuff, unbelievable, you guys. It's so fantastic. So she did this really cool mashup of... Catch as a Jedi Knight. If Catch could have a lightsaber. And I was like, she knew I was a Star Wars nerd, so. Hey, give a round of applause for her. It's fantastic. And your question is? Yes. I want to ask uh, if you have any specific inspiration for Art of Catch, especially for the accent. Yeah, I did. Please answer it in, uh, in catch accent. <laughs> oh, you need to do speaker's catch. I can speak as catch. So, um, one of the things that I studied was one of the biggest influences that originally catch was sort of going to be an East End brawler, right? More like Mick Davies. <laughs> and uh, when I first went into the audition, I was wearing a, a leather jacket, right? Oh, and I was all scruffy, kind of like this, right? And so, like, hey, you, yeah, Sam and Dan, what you like? What you want? You want to join us? I'll fucking kill you, I will. That's what I'll do. And they're like, no, that's not catch. But we uh, sort of understand a little bit about you. Then they asked me to do uh, a voiceover audition with various standard, uh, what's called received pronunciation British accents. And then one was very too posh. He was like, he was able to say too harumphy and not quite rolling the yards and all that. So I just sort of was looking at Peter Cushing. What, what are you looking at? Sorry, I was just. That, what happened? She was coughing and I was being mean. And I was saying, stop it. <laughs> she was trying not to make noise and really trying to be quiet. And I was just sorry. She I hope you're okay. So, so I did that, and we sort of dialed it down, and then I, half of my family is, uh, is British, and uh, my dad's Welsh, and half of my family is from the UK, lives in London, and all that stuff. And I have this Uncle Dave, who, uh, who is a very, almost a parody of a posh Englishman. He went to, uh, he went to public school, and, and uh, he's just, he's lovely, but he's very... English, like that last 3% of actual Englishmen who speak in a very posh, proper, received pronunciation. So it's all like, yeah, it's right, good, yeah, it's quite right. Yeah, how are you? It's very nice to meet you. Hello. And then, so what I try to do is lower it in my voice and make it a bit fling. And then sometimes you'd be up and hello, the child offensive, and other times you're like, hello, Mary. <laughs> and then, I also fused my Uncle Dave, and they said, I think what we want with Ketch, we want the James Bond of Supernatural. And when I went into my final audition, I, right before I went into the door, I thought of Roger Moore's song, James Bond. So Roger Moore has this very specific, sort of received, this styled down, almost Americanized, what's called a received pronunciation. And so just before I went into the room for my final audition, this is audition number four, I went in and I just said to myself, Bond. James Bond. And I walked in. And Shot went. everyone in the room. That's right. I was like, you really have no job. choice, but you will give me this job. I'm Kent, mother. Giddy up. So that's how Cash that's, was sort of born. That was awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Are you killing people? For no, the accents. That was awesome. Oh, thank you. Well, 
there you have it. There's the genesis. Thank you, Thank you so much. I, uh, I have a confession for you. I, uh, I got tired of doing these conventions and not being up to date on the show. I really enjoy the show, but I'm really busy and I hate watching stuff out of order, right? So yeah, and it's, it, to be fair, like, we're, Gil and I were talking about this. If you're in show business and you're on the road, like, how much media do you get to see anyways? Like, right. it's like you just get snippets. It's really hard just to when you're working to sit down and watch stuff. 300 so episodes. Exactly right. Um, but when I did the, the last album that I had, I had a bunch of, like, um, just busy work to do. I had a bunch of, like, labels and, you know, stuff, envelope stuffing or whatever. And this was last year, I think. And so I, I just Netflixed it. And that was what I watched while I was doing my busy work. And so I, I got totally caught up. You're 12 seasons up to date, well, except this season. So, I got totally caught up and I was so excited about it because I know everybody's character, I know what they've been doing on the show, I know who's dead, I know who's alive, I know all that stuff. I just haven't seen this last season. It's the only season I haven't seen. But <laughs> there's not going to be a bunch of people from the new season, right? <laughs> Because it's all, because we all, because I know everybody's everything from the last 12, 11 seasons, so I, I'm totally up to date. And then, and then you guys show up, and I'm like, back to square one. You're like, who are these blokes? With their silly accents. Awesome. Awesome. Accents. Hey, guess what, guys? I'm done. They just, they, no, they just, they just pulled me off. They said, David, it's time for you to go lie down and have a nap. I have other jobs to do. So it's our last chat together, and before I just leave, I know, uh, it's, it's, I'm tired, I'm, I'm, I, you've heard it from me a million times. I am so in love and feel your kindness and joy, and it has filled my heart a thousandfold. So I thank you, thank you, thank you for Thank you.